you want to know my favorite books. So um, I'm obviously um, very fond of my own books. <laughs> but besides that, I, I love reading David Baldacci. Uh, he's an American writer who's not worked for CIA, but he and, and the FBI, and he writes about them. And even the, the interviews that I see, I've seen most of his interviews on YouTube. Um, also, one of the Australian uh, crime fiction writer that I read recently, Michael Robotham, I, I really send him a personal message. I like this book. I like Lee Child. Um, I don't like Stephen King that much, but I like his writing because I don't read horror. Um, yeah, the, the, these are the kind of thrillers mostly. But you know, now off late, so I, as I said, read all kinds of books. And I've been spending some time reading romance titles recently. And uh, I've read a couple of Nicholas Sparks books. And, I think they're not bad. In Indian side, I like Vish Damija, a very, very close friend of mine. He lives in London. He writes really fabulous thrillers. You can look up his book. He's doing extremely well. Uh, Ravi Subramaniam, again, a good friend of mine who writes um, financial thrillers. He works for a bank at a very senior position in Mumbai. He launched one of my books. He was in conversation with me a couple of years back at, at a lit fest. Among Indian writers in Hindi, Surinder Mohan Patak is a rage. He's really, really fabulous. He's an he's a 80-year-old person. And uh, he's written really many, many books. And I had the great fortune of uh, being in conversation with him, rather moderating his session, one of the literature festivals just last year. He's uh, extremely, extremely smart and brilliant. And um, I, I'm, I'm someone who's a fan of him for all my life because my mother used to read his books. And as he writes only in Hindi. And now HarperCollins has started converting, translating some of his books in, into English. And I'll just show, you know, what makes a person different. So this gentleman, Surinder Mohan Patak last year in Kumau Lit Fest. Um, so we were in a session together, as I said, and there were a couple of other crime fiction writers, and we, I was moderating that session. At the end of it, he said, Kulpreet, you've written this book called The Girl Who Loved a Pirate, and that was the book uh, before this one. And I said, yes. He said, I'm going to read that book. And I said, sir, I would like to present a copy. He said, no, not required. And I thought he's a, such a senior person, and he's not going to, uh, obviously, I, I will not. Uh, you will expect him to read my books, you know, such a celebrated writer. Wherever he goes, you will find at least 100 people in the audience. They come wearing his t-shirts. People have formed. The only writer in India who's got a fan club, let me surprise you by saying, is Surinder Mohan Patak. Anytime that you go for any event, you'll find 50 to 60 people in the crowd. People are, one of my best friends is a huge fan of his. Right? So, so, so a great guy. So the next, uh, just few months back when I went for the Kumau Literary Fest Festival, the second session, and... I saw him a couple of times and he was there. We were not together in the session, so I just waved to him. And the evening party, he comes to me and taps me from behind and said, Kulpreet, I want to speak to you. And he had also read this, The Girl Who Loved a Spy, because this was this about four months, four, five months old. And uh, he started, he said, Ken, do you have 15 minutes? I want to give you feedback about your book. And I said, definitely, sir, all yours. And really, I'm, I'm honored for you to you know, give me feedback. And he gave me 15 minutes feedback on page-wise deconstruction of a story as a master storyteller. And I was really, really touched. And I, I think till the time I live, you know, even now I'm choking with emotion. You know. So anyway, just a distraction a little bit. But there are very good Indian writers as well who write fiction. Um, there is a tendency in India for uh, Indian readers to generally look down upon uh, the, the Indian authors. And I'll really make a request that before you read their work, please do not reject them because international authors Anyway, don't read our work. I've got many international writer friends who do not read our works and who do not support us. Please do read Indian authors' works also. And if you feel it is not good, great. You can just set it aside, read anyone else's book.